welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is on a very easy automation that I named AI Chorus. I am constantly asking multiple AIs questions. So I'll go and ask Perplexity a question and I'll copy and paste that into Gemini and I'll copy and paste that into ChatGPT because I want to get these various answers. That's time consuming and as I keep doing it, I'm like, why am I doing this? I create AI automations for a living. Let me just make this simpler for myself. So that's how I came to creating AI Chorus, which is essentially you put in one prompt and it goes across all the AI models that you want it to. And then you get to read all the answers in one place. It saves so much time, and if you're an AI nerd like me, you're gonna love this. Before we jump in and I show you what I built, I wanna let you know that I have a school community called the AI Marketing Automation Lab. And at my school, we're about three main things. Creating AI automation systems that make the lives of marketing agencies, marketers, and solopreneurs much easier. We're about training and development of learning AI, how to implement the systems, and also about creating a community of like-minded professionals that can fuel each other's successes. Right. As always, before we start building, let me show you what this is all about so you can get as excited as I am. So let's put in our prompt here. It's the same as putting a prompt into ChatGPT or Perplexity. You know what it is. Can you give me a comparison of the top-rated AI no-code app platforms? Boop. Set that there, we come over into here and we hit run. So now this is going into our make automation. I'll give you a sneak preview of that. Boom, look at it. I know it looks intense, it's really not. All of this is a lot of copy and paste. We'll get to that soon. Now coming back into here, you can see that it is now running and we are going across Gemini Pro, GPT, Perplexity, Claude, DeepSeek, and Grok. That's how we set up ours and you could set up yours differently for your preferred AI platforms. So ChatGPT came in with an answer first. We'll go ahead and give this a quick read. It's telling us about Softer, AppSheet, QuickBase, Pico, and Flutterflow. You'll notice it skipped Gemini Pro. Now that is because sometimes if the AI is broken, we have it set up that it'll just ignore that AI and it'll just continue on the workflow to the others. And Gemini isn't necessarily broken, but it gets overloaded a lot because it's completely free. So now we have answers across all of the platforms that I was interested in with one prompt. We can click in and check them out. Got a little bit from Claude here. We got some from DeepSeek over here. And you know, AI always has like, always is a little bit different, but if you could see here, they keep recommending Bubble. So I might check that out. So let's get into how we build this Airtable base. Now that I've shown you how everything runs, we'll start with the Airtable and then we'll move into the Make Automation. So starting here, you're gonna create these following columns. You're gonna create prompt, and your prompt is going to be a long text field, and you're gonna hit save. Run, this run field, you're gonna label it run. It's gonna be single select. You're gonna color code the options and you're gonna put run, running, and finished. Typed just like this with the capitalizations. And you know, you could color code it, whatever color you want to make it fun. Then hit save. And then coming over to here, we're gonna name this Gemini Pro 2.5. Edit the field, this is gonna be long text and enable rich text formatting. ChatGPT, long text, enable rich formatting. So all of these are gonna have the same exact setup. There's really no reason for me to bore you with that. So once your Airtable is set up, label it AI Chorus Prompt and Answers. Then we're gonna go and build the make automation, the thing that runs behind this table. So here's our make automation. It starts with a web hook. Once you add your custom webhook, you're gonna name it AI Chorus, click add, and then you're gonna copy this address to your clipboard that it populates right here, and then click save. Now moving on to our Airtable, which is the next connection, you're gonna go through an OA auth process for your Airtable, and once that's complete, you're gonna select your base, AI Chorus, and the table that we just talked about, AI Chorus Prompt and Answers. We also have a record ID field here, and that's coming from the webhook that precedes this module. Once that is set up, hit save. And now we're gonna insert a router. So you're gonna go ahead and add a router feature right here by searching for router. You got flow control. 
and there you go. So you're gonna go ahead and add that in. Once that router's in, we're gonna go ahead and set up our open router connections. Open router allows us to have access to multiple AI platforms. So let's go into open router first before we begin to build these modules. So when you come to open router, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna set up an account, and then once you have an account set up, you're gonna go over, hover here, select keys, and then you have your API keys right here. You're gonna select create a key. You're gonna go ahead and name your key and then hit create. Once you have your API key from Open Router, you're gonna go ahead and add a create a chat completion Open Router module. And in here, you're gonna, this is where you're gonna click add and you're gonna put in your API key and then hit save. Now moving down here under messages, we have content and we're gonna select prompt from the Airtable module. Then for role, we're gonna have user selected. And the model that we wanna use here, that we're using, is Gemini Pro 2.5 Experimental. So we've selected that. And as you can see, once you have your open router connection made, you have access to all of these models. So your setup might not look like ours, and that's completely fine. We all have different preferences. And the rest down here, this is all default, so you just wanna leave that as is. So next thing we're gonna do here is save. And now we're coming over to this ignore module. So what this does, which we saw earlier is Gemini Pro was overloaded and it was taking too much time and not working for our automation. So it went to this ignore route and it moved on down the path. You'll see here that these are numbered. We have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And that's the order that the automation goes in when it's running your prompt through the different platforms. Next, we're gonna add an update a record module for Airtable. Clicking into here, you're gonna continue with your AI Chorus connection. You have your base selected AI Chorus, and you have your table AI Chorus prompt and answers. And our record ID is pulling from the initial webhook again. You're gonna have that selected. Now for Gemini Pro, this is the model that we're working with, so this is where we're gonna put our information. We're gonna put in choices, under choices, we're gonna select message, and then under here, you're gonna select content. And then this should populate here. And then what you wanna do from there is just go ahead and see. And this is gonna be similar for each model as we go down. So I'll continue to go down just a little bit more. Next, we have GPT that we chose. So again, we're gonna connect the prompt from the Airtable, role is user, our model, we have our model selected, this is GPT, so we're no longer working with Gemini, so we changed. And all the rest of this information down here is completely default. And then we can come over, we'll add our ignore module, and then our update a record air table module, which you click into, our base, our table, we add the record ID. And now, instead of putting that information in Gemini Pro, we're putting that information in ChatGPT from under choices, message and message content. And then you hit save. So you repeat this process as you trickle down through all of these models. And I highly recommend a way to do it is just through copy and paste. And as every time you paste, you just change this simple portion of it right here. You just move down where we're now in perplexity. So I'm taking out the choices and message content from GPT and moving it down here. And then the process goes really quick. So this is a very easy build. Um, I wasn't lying when I told you it was. Now I just wanna show you, you'll see all these ignore error handlers here. I wanna show you how to add one. So on our first one up here, you're gonna right click, you're gonna do add error handler, and then you're gonna select which one you want. We want ignore. And it's that simple, just like that. Once all this is done, you're gonna wanna hit save, make automations, don't save automatically. So just constantly hit save if you can. You don't wanna lose what you're working on. So we finished our make automation, but we still have that webhook URL that we copied. So we're gonna go back into our table and we're gonna create an Airtable automation now with that webhook. You're gonna go up to here and click automations. Now I'm gonna show you exactly what ours looks like so you can just copy it. So we have some steps here. When a record matches conditions, if run is run. So over here is where you're gonna to wanna to look. This is what we set up, the table, and the condition is when run is run. And the next is run a script. So you're gonna to wanna to copy this code that we have right here. And you'll see this is where you're gonna paste your webhook into. So take a nice screenshot of this. We don't want a five. And after that is set up, you're gonna to go to update a record. 
So we have our action type selected, then we have our table selected, we have the record ID selected as Airtable, and we have run selected and running. So from here, we're all set, and then you're gonna toggle this switch on right here. Now there's one last step here. We have run, running, but now we need the automation to tell us when it's finished and it's given us the completion of its output. And we do that in the last Airtable module here. So this is our update a record module, just like all the others, but this one is a little bit different. We have our base, we have our table. Down here is where we set up our message content, but right here under run, you're gonna wanna type finished. And remember earlier when I said you wanna use the capitalizations and keep the spelling? Well, right here, it needs to match that, otherwise it will not work. So just type finished and then hit save. So now the full automation is complete. And just like I showed you earlier, you can type in a prompt here and your automation will run through the AI models that you chose. But now I wanna show you something cool, something that we do inside my school. We have created Airtable interfaces. So this is what our interface looks like for AI Chorus. So I come up here, I hit the plus sign, and now I'm gonna enter my prompt. So um, can you give, we're gonna make this a fun prompt. Can you give me information on dogs that have a good disposition? and like to swim in water. Um, medium size dog is preferred. Preferred. It's a hard word. We'll leave it at that. I don't know what I mean. And now you could see I selected run, so the status is run, and now it's running because it's running off with my prompt and it's gonna put them through all the models that we just built out. So this is something that's exclusive inside of our school. We have Airtable sessions where we build out interfaces like this into large systems that can house all of your content and all of your automations. It's in our school. We have the sessions for it, so you should probably check it out. It's pretty cool, especially if you like this. As you can begin to see, some feedback is coming back. This time, Gemini Pro is working. It's not overloaded. Woo, a standard poodle, smaller end. I do want a standard poodle, I really do. Uh, what else, Ch GPT came back. They're recommending some dogs. Ooh, Chesapeake Bay Retriever, one of my friends had those. They absolutely love water. Okay, I digress. You can see just how the options as they're being generated here look much different than they do in the actual table itself. We prefer the interface just because it's nice, airy, and breezy. The output is finished. We'll take a nice scroll through. All my usual suspects are here. Deep Seek and Grok. It's just so easy to have everything in one place. I know you agree with me. And that is AI Chorus. I hope you like what I did here today. I hope that you build it and you enjoy it. This was a fairly easy one to go through. Please like and subscribe. Come visit my channel again. I love to do these tutorials and I love having you here. I'll see you next time.